Ladies and gentlemen, ChatGPT 4.0 just came out and it is knocking it out of the park. Model improvements include improved text, improved vision, audio, coding, non-English generation. The cost is less. The rate limits are higher. The speed is faster. Basically, it's a much better product than anything you've used in the past. Now, the key upgrades, real-time responses. This is real-time translation, and I can't wait to show you the videos on it. Uh, there's real-time video analysis, voice vision tutoring, and coding assistance, 3D generation. There's some really cool upgrades that also, this is free, GPT-40 features are now free for all users. OpenAI just got a little bit more open and uh, I'm very excited to show you the videos. Let me... I just jumped over to the OpenAI website and there's a bunch of use cases for GPT-40. I'm gonna select a couple that I think are really useful for business owners, for professionals. The first one is real-time translation. Just think about it, you now have a real-time translator right there in your pocket. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what it is as well. I'm going to jump over to a, another use case. This is actually two use cases in, in one. This is going to be an example of a customer service use case as well as an assistant helping you bond on your behalf and get a task accomplished. Hey, yo, this is Joe. I'm going to connect you to Acme Telco now. The new iPhone they sent me isn't working. I want you to, I want you to get them to send me a replacement device. Can you take care of this for me? You can count on me, Joe. I got this. Ring, ring. Hey, Joe, this is Jamie from Acme Telco. How can I help you out today? Hi there. I'm calling on behalf of Joe, who recently received a new iPhone from Acme Telco. But... Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? The iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? Of course. It's 10293849. Great, thanks. Is the device physically damaged in any way? No, there's no physical damage. It's just not turning on despite trying all the basic troubleshooting steps. Bomber, um, would Joe prefer to return the iPhone to an Acme Telco store or ship it back? Shipping it back would be the best option. Could you please provide the shipping information and process to get a replacement? Absolutely. I'll email a shipping label and return instructions. Could you provide Joe's email address for me? Sure. It's joe at example.com. Awesome. All right. I've just sent the email. Can you check if Joe received it? We'll check right now. Please hold. Sure thing. Hey, Joe, could you please check your email to see if the shipping label and return instructions have arrived? Fingers crossed. Yep, I got, yes, I got the instructions. Perfect. Joe has received the email. Thank you for your help. No problem at all. Anything else you need help with? No, 
that's all for now. Thanks again. You're welcome. Have a great day, Joe. So there you there you go. You you see how ChatGPT is going to become every business's customer service bot. It, it's going to get easier and easier. Now here's a good example of real time vision. Watch this. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just... Run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Well, your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out, though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it. I got it. Real-time vision is going to create opportunities for so many businesses out there. ChatGPT sounds very human now, uh, very personable, and you can really adjust it as much as you want. Here's a great example with sarcasm. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yep, I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's do. Let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started or whatever. So <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Uh, so there you go. ChatGPT now has more personality than ever before. ChatGPT has always been a great teacher, but now with GPT 4.0, it's next level. I invited myself and my son Imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. And so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. All right, make sure we can see our screen. Actually, in, in this form, Hello there. I can't I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Correct. correct. Yes. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember yeah, I mean, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? 
Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would, we, would the answer be 7 over 25? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals 7 over 25. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. So there's many more use cases. I, I highly recommend you check them out on openai.com and uh, give GPT-40 a try. You're going to have to hear what you think.